Welcome to the Crystal Collector. Today, we're gonna to be going back and looking at some footage that you guys haven't seen yet from Canada. And we're gonna be looking at some green amethyst, which is actually correctly called praseolite. Let's go into and dive into this and really see what this stuff is. Is it even really green amethyst? What is this stuff? Behind me, I have a table full of the praseolite. But first, let's check out a few clips where you can see exactly how we found it right out of the side of this mountain in Canada. Here we are in Thunder Bay, Canada, and we're back at the Crystal Cave. This thing is full of amethyst. So here we have the vein. This is actually the back of it. You can see amethyst falling right out of the wall. Crystals all over the place. But we're going to get some really good stuff here. Because what you've got is the whole vein system running all the way up through here. I mean, look at this purple here. This is crazy. It just goes all the way up through there. So you can see the thick, one foot thick probably, amethyst vein systems here, running all the way through here. They're just coming off the wall left and right. I mean, Check that out. Look how purple that is. Right there. And all of these are loose. Oh boy. That's pretty cool. So we're just looking at the green amethyst here. Boy. So I think we may pick some of those up. There you go. Before we walk in, just because the rain has came through. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh, there it is. Green amethyst, purple amethyst, praesolite, combos. So that's really neat. So we haven't even gotten into the pocket yet, and we're picking up awesome stuff. Look at this huge calcite crystal just laying on the ground. So you remember in the last video, we were inside this cave system. So what happened was they came in with a drill and popped off the wall of the cave system. So we're going to go in and just pluck these crystals out one by one, left and right. Let's get her done. All right. I don't think there'll be anything behind or in this, but it is solid purple. <laughs> oh boy, look. Purple, green... Tried to grow a huge sideways crystal. That's a chunk of purple. What? This is getting crazy. This could have crystals on that side of it, it looks like. This will be easy here, just in case. Nope, another flat one. You can see what happens is amethyst gets squeezed in these pockets. But... <laughs> there it is. That's what we're looking for. A huge amethyst point. Here's another one right above that one. Oh my gosh. This could be huge. Oh, oh it's a cluster. What's going on here? Yep, it's two points. All muddy and dirty. A couple of little uh, weird ones here on the back. There it is. Man. So here it is. You can see it had the tiniest light green growth of praseolite right there. Not a whole lot, but check it out. What? Pretty cool. With everything cleaned up, and you can see the red hematite coming out of there. And Super nice banding of perp. It's correctly referred to as praseolite. Wait, pres, pre, it's tough to say. Praseolite, praseolite. There's a lot of different ways to say it, but we're gonna check this stuff out. The word praseolite literally means green scallion colored stone. So you can see how over the years it got that terminology and it's actually incorrect to call it green amethyst because amethyst is actually referring to the color purple. 
you could see there. So you could say this has green and amethyst. Ah, you can see the pieces found right here from the Canada spot, but almost all praseolite in the past has come from one mine in Brazil. It's actually a small mine that come to find out around February 2019, they're not finding all that much. So this Canada spot is the place to go. You can see the really cool pieces where the green and the purple grew side by side, giving you an awesome contrast. Matrix, what do you think? You can really see how the colors go from green to purple. Just amazing. And while digging, I really didn't find any pieces, very few that actually had the green with the purple that had a good point. They all were just like this, where you just had the roots of the crystals. And as you can see, they just grew into the other crystals, but some of these really got dark. Now what you're looking at is contact points from other roots from other crystals that just formed all around these. So cool. I'll tell you, this material is so beautiful, the way it goes from the purple to green. Definitely gonna have to dig more of this on my next trip up to Canada. <laughs> what? I'll tell you, it just makes this spot all the more special having pieces like this. Super cool, the way this amethyst formed up against the praseolite. We're still not sure how this stuff formed. If maybe it was amethyst at one time and it got heated up, which is probably what happened. It's uh, maybe, I'm thinking, as this stuff was already formed and the other amethyst came on top at a later growth, the heat from that could have been the perfect temperature to cause the previous amethyst to turn green. So who knows? We'll have to go and do a little bit more research and figure this out. But in the meantime, check out the awesome finds. This one's super dark. What do you think? Get your approval? To help and support this channel, please like and share, and we sure do love your comments. Thanks for watching.